strike. Israel's Iron Dome strike a dozens of missiles to Iranian forces in Syria. Iranian forces in Syria launched a rocket attack on Israeli army bases in the Golan Heights early on Thursday, Israel said, prompting one of the heaviest Israeli barrages against Syria since the conflict there began in 2011. The attack on the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights, just past midnight, marked the first time Iranian forces have hit Israel from Syria, where they have deployed along with Iran-backed Shiite militias and Russian troops to support President Bashar Assad in the country's civil war. Dozens of Israeli missiles hit a radar station, Syrian air defense positions and an ammunition dump, Syrian state media said, underscoring the risks of a wider escalation involving Iran and its regional allies. I hope we finish this chapter and everyone got the message, Israeli Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman said at the Herzliya Security Conference, near Tel Aviv, on Thursday morning. Israel said 20 Iranian Grad and Fajr rockets were shot down by its Iron Dome air defense system or fell short of the Golan targets. The Quds Force, an external arm of Iran's Revolutionary Guards, carried out the launch, Israel said. It was commanded and ordered by Quds Force Chief General Qasem Soleimani and it has not achieved its purpose, military spokesman Lt. Col. Jonathan Konrakis told reporters. Israel struck back by destroying dozens of Iranian military sites in Syria, Konrakis said, as well as Syrian anti-aircraft units that tried unsuccessfully to shoot down Israeli planes. We do not know yet the Iranian casualty count, he said. But I can say that in terms of our purpose, we focused less on personnel and more on capabilities and hardware to inflict long-term damage on the Iranian military establishment in Syria. We assess it will take substantial time to replenish, Israeli schools in the Golan Heights opened as usual on Thursday morning, after sirens had sent residents to shelters during the night. I do not reside on the border of New Zealand Australia. We are located here facing Syria and Lebanon and this is the reality which we will overcome together, especially with the IDF, Israel Defense Forces, said Alex Gudish, a Golan settler.